Hello and welcome everybody back to Grounded. Uh, today we are, as promised, diving into the spooky hole under the shed I right spy. over here and uh, checking out what is in the secret lab that we unlocked right at the end of the episode last time after we uh, found Wendell's supersized scabby at least by uh, our tiny standards nowadays, um, up on the porch of the shed. Um, and so we did get this at least unlocked right there at the end and got our sneak preview. But this is all that we have seen thus far. We're pretty well geared up, I think. Um, got all of our tools and weapons. Um, We've, uh, I, I brought a couple of bombs, we've got a decent amount of food, a couple types of smoothies. Um, I'm gonna actually get rid of this weevil nose. Um, I must have got that when I was getting some more jerky. Um, bandages, all that kind of good stuff. I've repaired our armor, uh, made sure our torch is full. So I think we should be reasonably ready for whatever this place throws at us, but, you know... Those are famous last words, and we're already getting spooky music, so, you know, that's... Oh, gosh. Um, you know, since some of this stuff is just right here at the entrance, I may not pick it up, and we'll come back for it when it is more convenient so that we make sure we don't run out of inventory space. Ooh, a note detailing how to harness the natural refrigeration powers of ice caps mints to preserve food. We can make fresh storage now? Hold up, hold up. I'm assuming that's in here somehow. So that's like a refrigerator, that is cool. Okay, so it takes pine cone, which we haven't found a lot of just yet. But mint and black ant parts are not hard to find. The music here is crazy, though. Alright, what else do we have? Um, I'll go ahead and take that black ox burger. And, uh, let's... Let's see what Wendell has to say. Working in the dark is playing tricks on my mind. I fear every shadow, hear whispers in the silence. But most of all, I miss my family. Oh, Trudy and her crooked grin. The way she rolled her eyes at my dumb jokes. <laughs> Sarah, my little angel. How she would jump into my arms every time I walked through the door after work. And Thor. Thor and his obsession of the month. What was the last one? Castle Moldork? No, no, no. No! It was Mance! Dad, what do you mean I don't need Mant minis? Have you seen them? Do you even know what a Mant is? It's so rad, Dad. A barbarian, an insectoid warrior with the mind of a human that... Wait a minute. An insect with a human mind? I wonder if... No, 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 stop it, Wendell. The darkness is giving you strange notions again. You need to focus on the task at hand. Raisining, raw science, the key is here. It must be! Man, poor Wendell. It is crazy to just see him now, just like focusing on his family. Um, let's see if there's anything we can do here in the science shop. Uh, I will take Hunt Wolf Spiders. We've been doing that anyway. Uh, milk molar upgrades, we can do that, that might actually be helpful. Um, maybe max stamina? And then, anything we need to buy while we're here? Maybe we wait on this, just in case we get any new 
any new things to buy. I'm okay with that. Um, and, oh, there's our resource analyzer. That should, yeah, get our little scabby notification to go away. Cool. All right, well, I think that's all that's in our little beginning part of the lab. So let's keep moving before I waste all of our hunger and thirst. And oh boy, it is getting dark in here. So let's go ahead and break out the torch. I'm going to have nightmares about this place for the rest of my life. I just know it. Yeah, I'm there with you, Pete. Oh boy, that is a steep drop a look. and oh we can't use the light while we're peeping that makes sense those look like dust mites maybe over there on that support yep that sounds like dust mites okay so we got raw science and a milk molar black ox beetle several black ox beetles oh my um Okay. Some gnats. Uh-oh, they don't like me. Uh, oh, that's like insulation. Okay, we've got more termites down here. This is crazy. I thought we were going to get more of like a straight up lab. I wonder if we can get into this pipe anywhere. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I also wonder if I should go ahead and just have that on instead of our dandelion for the moment. I hear so much crawling around. I feel like there's got to be a way into this pipe. There's some water dropping down over here. There's got to be a way to get up to that raw science as well. Let's get our torch back out though. This place is huge! Uh, I wonder if these are rust. They are! Oh, here we go. Here's how we get in the pipe. Um, I don't know if we're wanting to do that just yet, though. Is that a coin? Or a cookie? Um, well, it looks like this is the end of the road for the pipe. Guess we hop down. Uh, let's see. Termites, here. Termites are salty. Okay. There we go. I wonder how worth it is to explore this whole tunnel. And I know this is the wrong weapon, but it's too dark in here to not have the torch out. Think we got another one up here? Two. I need to check my, uh, uh, what's it called? Mutations at some point, too. I've not looked to see what we've got on at the moment. We could be throwing a little bit here with bad mutations. Let's get a bandage going and maybe just go ahead and use one of our smoothies.
Maybe I should have brought flares. That's like one... One thing I didn't think about. Hey, will you two stop it? Okay. What else is in here? Ooh, a milk molar. Yep, it was worth it. Okay, let's get the old hammer out. All right, and then that's the end of the pipe. Well, not really a pathway anywhere, but we will take some milk molar upgrades. I don't quite remember what our plan was regarding uh, mega milk molars. It's been a little while. And I think that that only brings us up to one mega at the moment. Uh, if I remember right from when we were just at the ASL terminal, but... Um, we will see. I know we're getting pretty close to maxing out both uh, regular item stack size and consumable stack size, so we may be left with going ahead and starting. Ooh. That gets uh, a little deep. Uh, we may have to start doing more with the arrows. Um, Alright, let's throw this back on. Okay, perfect. Just for safety there. Oh, we got a big old beetle boy here. Oh, that was a double. Hey there. I did get wrecked by a black ox beetle. Um, oh, I was hoping Field Station would respawn me by the lab. How damaged is our equipment? Not too bad. We should be okay. Okay, so this time I found like an upper pipe path that we could take. I'm gonna see if we can get to that raw science. Oh, but I failed the jump. Well, never mind. I think that's how you do it, though, is maybe from that green pipe you can jump to there. I timed that rather poorly. Let's hope we can go grab our goodies. All right. I thought I lost you. Uh, that was a spider. Taking a look. What are you? Wolf spider, we can handle you. But what happened to the beetle? That's my question. Okay. Good. Oh man, and we actually even have the, uh, I put the badge on, so that poison should be, like, really wrecking us. 
All right, who's who's after me now? Is it you? I can handle that. Okay. Um, where to now? Can I do anything with insulation? No. Undershed sinkhole. What are you? Are you just a regular old mosquito? Okay. That you big old blood sucker. Okay. Um, so that looks like just a lot of water. That's interesting. Um Okay, I feel like we should we should deal with Mr. Beetley Boy. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Time to play some Minotaurs and Matadors. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you don't have nothing. Okay, you got a little bit. Oh, I was out of the way. Alright, alright, we're healing up, we're healing up. Yeah, we got this, we got this. Yes, okay. Now that you are taken care of, what else is up here? Definitely sounds like more stuff in this place. Pipe. But I wonder if we have to get in somehow from there, like that opening. Also, I really hope that's not a mixer. Alright, candy. Oh, we can handle. Didn't really mean to eat, but it's not the worst thing that could happen there. Our hunger is a little low. I may as well eat just a bit more. Can just do it from the hot bar. Okay. There are lots of spider webs up there. Okay, um, bunch of sap and science. Uh, man, I really don't know. Other than that, kind of looks uh, that's obviously a lot of sciencey things over there. I don't know that it's smart to just jump down there. Maybe we should check the previous ravine out? go. Another mosquito down. Uh, alright, this is some easy rust to grab, at least. Um, alright, here's, here's a gentler approach. Oh, is that a lot of pupa? 
How, how are we doing inventory wise? We're already like filling up. Maybe we leave that for the moment. Although pupa leather, pupa leather is a pretty high value resource. That is at least about all of it. Can we keep slowly going down this way? Not really. There is more pupa down there. It's a lot of mosquitoes here. That's a very threatening looking hole. But that at least looks like a path forward. Um. that please there we, come on there we go uh all right do we just go for it i think we might have to otherwise i'm just gonna sit here and be indecisive all day yeah. and we're gonna just keep on running from the mosquitoes Okay, that was pretty smooth. Okay, we've got another Black Widow ahead. This is not great. There's so many things. I don't even know what to focus on. Why do I feel like there were three mosquitoes that were following me? And there's, like, still three. Okay. Are we good? My goodness. Because I have a whole different beast that we got to fight. And I am <laughs> not the best at it. <laughs> Took us most of an episode, it feels like, to get through one of these. Okay. Um, what does this one do? Boost stamina recovery. Yeah, that'll be that'll be definitely good. Okay. Status effects. This is what I needed us to check. I think I'm going to use my axe, although it's 
brighter in there. So we don't necessarily need the torch. Oh, right, right, right. But we want a shield. So yes, we want chopper. Uh, critical hits. Cardio fan. Poison resist and shocking. Yeah, I think this was our our <laughs> our loadout, if you will, for taking on the last widow. So I guess we are going for it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a fresh bandage on. Oh boy, there's widowlings in here. Dang, I was gonna try to take those out, but... Go, got the block. Let's heal a little bit. All right, come back to the light. Oof, that was bad. That was bad. I'm losing all of my critical timings. I started out really well with it. There we go. Come on. Front foot here. I'm in control of this fight, not you, Spider. There we go. Okay. Well, we're like not doing so well on healing materials but the spider is slain and we're not dead yet all right uh a look. i th yeah that's where we came from i see a mosquito now give me my arrows back and let's torch it up And while we're here, I know I didn't pick them up earlier, but we're going to go ahead and get the quartzite in here. Because if I don't have to fight that spider again, you know, I don't mind uh, passing on that. Oh, boy. 
Oh, standing on these egg sacks makes me very uncomfortable. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. I think that's all that's in here. I don't think there was anything in these other than, like, I'm pretty sure I could probably get some decent materials from them. And who knows, maybe there's, like, a scabby or something hiding in there. Um... Uh, ooh, we should we should eat this. Where there's spiderling, there's spiderlings. Okay. It's cool being able to actually see the uh, baby black widows this time, since it's uh, like a bit brighter in here, and I'm being a bit braver and not using a shield the whole time, or a bit more foolhardy maybe. I don't know. Bit of both. Oh, that looks gross. Did venom get in here? Oh, it's just like a weird shader effect. Interesting. Okay. Clear out some of this webbing. And that is a lab entrance. There's a spiderling running around here. What else is here? I hear. Oh, it's just that roly poly. We're good. We're good. All right. Oh, that looked like a uh, bit of sap there. Lots of really pulleys here. Ooh, we can get a preview. Whoa! Is that the de-raisinification machine? We'll go get a better look in a second. But in the meantime, I'll go ahead and do a little bit of resource harvesting. <laughs> But oh boy, is that the mother load of raw science. All right. Ooh, I like the green in here. Wow, that is a lot of raw science. I know, Pete, that's what I just said. Ooh, we can go ahead and drink from here. Slurp the water cooler. All right, Wendell. Oh gosh, the music got even more intense. Defeat. Infusions, countless migraines. I'm so shriveled now, I can barely walk. In the true origin of raw science? Ooh, an enigma. A mystery box with no lid. I don't think I have much longer. It is hard to think straight. I am so tired I have only one option that remains one last toss of the proverbial dice commence project Mant. all right we're doing project Mant. so I guess raw science see stuff. I guess he doesn't know if it's a concentrate or a vapor. I think that's what that means. And I'm trying to figure out... If he's saying jab an ant with it? Or if he blasts an ant with something. But yeah, he'll put that in himself. <laughs> and then he'll hulk out. 
But yeah, that's crazy. So this is over the course of like, what? Nine months-ish? He goes from looking like that to that. I'm not sure if holding my hands to my face makes me see any better than so with glasses. So that's, uh, that is definitely not a nice process. Um, it doesn't look like there's really anything we can do in here, so I guess we carry on? I don't like the sound of that, though. Especially because we're, like, out of heals. Oh, no. We've got a workbench. Alright, we can mark this lab. Oh gosh, I don't have a head. Um, might loaf. Uh, we will just nab it for now. Oh, our inventory's full. That was a mistake. Uh, let's go this way first. Oh, oh, hello, hello. I can't put my tools away. Because I have too much inventory. Um, what do we not want? Um, did I actually get the Black Widow Venom this time? I don't think I did again. Um, wait, defrag? Did that help? No. Alright, let's sort this mess. And we're going to get rid of some of that extra webbing. So, Project Man Test Drive 1 is the notes we just got. Okay, that door opening and closing keeps sounding like things. Bong. Okay, uh, let's, let's read that. Uh, Wendell. Uh, maybe Ominent? Burgle? Stuff? Places? Stuff? Um. Oh, Undershed. There we go. Inspect. Project Mant Test Drive 1, October 7th, 1990. Undershed Lab, Mant Cadaver 4. Pre-test notes. Preliminary fungal germination tests have been promising. Cordycepin receptors show innate attraction to the vessel's protocerebral proto mass. Involuntary spasms and twitches have been documented throughout the process with each infusion of raw science. The mant is showing signs of life. In order to control this vessel, I've rigged a neural relay to the antennal lobes. This should allow for rudimental control of the subject. Results. Partial success. I was able to pilot the mant from a prone position, including finger articulation, for over four minutes. It was a surreal experience to see through the alien eyes of an insect, an almost digital, pixel-based display washed in an unusual color spectrum. It will take several more tests before my human brain can acclimate to such an oddly wonderful view of the world. Leg articulation was more challenging than anticipated. Additional muscle sprout grafts must be scheduled before another ambulatory trial commences. My proverbial baby steps are but days away.
All right, here's the next one. Uh, Project Mant, Condensed Science. Uh, this is on... Oh, so this is earlier. So this is on November 26, 1990. Uh, Mant Cadaver 1, Undershed Lab. Pretest notes, the condensed science produced by my mixers should work as the perfect bonding agent for the anatomical marvel I've stitched together. Where carapace meets muscle sprout, where mandibles become toes. It's worth noting that the condensed science, the spongy evolution of this miraculous particle, is very sensitive to heat stimulants. Therefore, I'll be molding the shape of these implants at low power. Don't want to overcook the science. Results, failure. Reduced power settings unstable. Numerous ill-timed surges fried several of the most tender sections of the vessel. The smell is almost unbearable. Good thing Burgle isn't here to see my incompetent cooking skills. I'd never hear the end of it. Back to the drawing board. Time to assemble another cadaver. Uh, this is all very weird. All right, Project Mant, Muscle Loss, October 14th, 1990. Mant Cadaver 6, Undershed Lab. Pretest notes, muscle sprout bonding with the calcium carbonate in the Fer uh, Fermidaceae family has been surprisingly efficient. The new anthropotic limbs of the vessel are superior to human equivalents in almost every way. Muscle loss over time continues to be an unfortunate side effect. It appears the body is nourishing itself on the enzymatic proteins of the sprouts, introducing haze fungus injections to counteract this degradation. Results, success! Several fungal growths have developed on the cadaver carapace, but muscle loss appears to have abated. The vessel is stable at hour 24. Miraculously, the digestive system appears to be working overtime. This has produced a viscous green excrement from the end of the system. As a temporary solution, I've dressed the vessel in some of my old underwear. <laughs> Hopefully, I can conclude these experiments before I run out of tidy whities Oh, gotcha. So these are like some of the the big muscle grafts. That's the condensed science. Um, I don't know why we have... Oh, here we go. Project Mant. Zippy Fiber. Uh, October 2nd, 1990. Subject, Mant Cadaver 3. Forearms. Undershed Lab. Pretest notes. Phase 1 complete. I've successfully transplanted several spinneret glands from the local orb weavers into the mant cadaver. While the body lacks an arachnid abdomen, I've taken inspiration from various uh, embioptera, embioptera species and placed the web-producing glands into the forelegs, or arms in this case. Phase 2 will entail raw science infusion in the attempt to strengthen web production, much like my earlier zippy tests. Results success! Web production is plentiful, and all extruded samples measure tensile strength levels far superior to that of any natural arachnid. With the large spinnerets located in the arms, web production should feel quite natural. While the glands are still large enough to make a certain web-slinging superhero jealous. I'm certain navigating the dangers of the yard has just become a thing of the past. They're making like a spider... spider mant? That, that joke actually is like pretty good considering some of the, the mix-ups that they were... Uh, doing in the uh the latest ant-man movie that's not really a spoiler that's they literally had that in a trailer um so yeah he's basing this off of the minotaurs and myrmidons mant that his son is obsessed with so yeah he is basically mentally taking over this mant by like used like 
sort of telepathically connecting to it via fungus. And it seems like they're actually using, like, the same kind of fungus uh, as, like, The Last of Us with the cordyceps, which is interesting. Um, but, like, the cordyceps fungus actually does um, take over ants, like, in the real world, so that actually is... Um, kind of a, an interesting use there. Um, but anyway, it's like they're using that. He's got then the zippy fiber from the spiders in the forearms. He's using the berries to help beef it up, I think. And then... Some of the haze fungus was helping it not lose muscle mass, if I'm keeping that somewhat straight. Oh, and the, uh, the, the muscle sprouts were, were the, for muscles. So that he's using all of his research from all over the yard to make this creature that he's trying to basically use as a puppet since his body's so frail. Project Mant is nearing completion. The first good news in as long as I can remember. Perhaps my previous failures have all led to this point. Uh, Vendepunkt, uh, my defining moment. This new body will allow me to continue my research. I've, I've created a super scientist. My checklist is complete. Consciousness transfer procedures will now begin. Whoa. Uh, what's this? Brainwave functions are spiking. Impossible. on the relay diodes of the neural displacer again yes again interesting so he's not just trying to puppet it he's trying to like move his consciousness into the mant oh and he's got a copy of the rule book I, I, that might be the same one that's on the picnic table bench Oh gosh, I really don't want to flip this lever. Oh gosh, alright, well... Wait, is there stuff this way? Oh no. Um... Um... Oh, no, 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 we're good, we're good. That doesn't actually go anywhere. We're fine, everything's great. Taking a look. Hello. Oh, gosh. Wendell, what have you done? Seven years' experience playing Minotaurs and Myrmidons leads me to believe that that is not a good sound. Oh, okay. It's a real life mant, just like the one in the Minotaurs and Myrmidons player book. Uh Yeah, that's a mant all right. Uh Uh Hey buddy. 
We cool, man? Um, is there anything in here for me? Oh, gosh. Uh, wait. Where do I... How do I... What do I do? Oh, I can get up here? I got the science. That, that science placement was clever way to get you up here. Ooh, I don't like... Oh, gosh. I've got to drop down there. Mm. Is there anything else for me here? Alright, Mr. Mant. Where are you at? At least want to know what you're weak to. Weakness is stabbing, fresh, and slashing. So I guess we're going in with the mint mace. <sighs> All right, everybody. Uh, let's at least drink one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and eat Yum. this. Okay, this, this music hits. Okay, so does he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, was he gonna poop? Oh, he looked like he was, like, getting unhappy there. I was nervous that they were, uh... Oh, there's more ants! Ah! Nope, nope, nope. Oh my gosh! That is horrible. You killed your own ant friend, man. Okay, this boss music is epic. Oh, he's scared. He was he wasn't he wasn't trying to get rid of green poop. Oh my, what did you lob at me? Oh, it's his webs. Oh, there was a fourth hit. I'm just gonna smack you on the bum. Ow. All right, that's my last big heal. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, I got I I did get smacked down by the mant. Alrighty, so, oh, I was really hoping it would spawn me on the other side of the shed, but this does make more sense. So, here's the thing. We have no heals left. There is zero chance we're making it past this guy without some more supplies. Also, our armor is about to absolutely shatter. Oh, I'm surprised we kept our, uh, our marble and quartzite. I would have thought that would have dropped with our backpack. Uh, anyway. Uh, we need more healing items. I think the best option here is that our battle will be concluded next time. I'm sorry to leave you on the cliffhanger. Um, but... I think we need to restock and come back with fresh supplies for round two. Um, I will, uh, I will definitely restock, um, here off, off of the video, so that way you guys don't have to... Wait on me at the start of our next episode to, to be going and making a bunch more smoothies and stuff like that. But um, I think given our, our current time and everything, I think we're going to call it there. And we will have our rematch with the Mant next week. So thank you guys so much for watching. That boss fight is so much fun. Um, and I can't wait to get back to it. Um, and, uh, yeah, exploring that undershed area is really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see where, where this story is going and what happens once we, uh, once we actually take down the Mant. Um, what became of, of Wendell. Um, so... Hopefully we will be figuring all of that out very soon. But in the meantime, if you did enjoy today's episode, um, if you had fun with our uh, our exploration of a new area, a new lab, um, taking on another Black Widow spider and seeing a new boss for the first time, uh, be sure to drop a like on the video. It definitely helps me out a lot and helps the channel to get discovered by more and more people. Um, and, uh, otherwise just make sure that you are all subscribed so that you will be able to be notified when the next episode drops and see the conclusion of our Undershed adventures. Um, until then, I hope that you all have a fantastic day and I will see you all very soon. See ya.